Hi, this is Anne with My Service Depot. In this video, we're going to see how we can update Smart Service, as well as how to find out if there's a new update available. To begin, I'm going to go to the Help tab at the far top left corner of my screen. And this is going to take me into our Wiki page. Under the Featured article, we'll always announce when a new update is available. If I scroll down, I can also find the latest version of Smart Service. This will be the most recent version that's available to the public. If I come to the Help tab and go to my About screen, I can then match what version am I running to the version that is available. If these don't match, you can go ahead and update Smart Service. Keep in mind, if you update one workstation, you'll want to try and update as many of your other workstations as possible at the same time. That way everybody's running the same version. To do this, I can select the download file directly from this screen, or I can also go to the Help and Update Smart Service option. Once you select this, it's going to download the file for the update. This can be found in your Downloads folder. Before I run this executable, I'm going to want to close Smart Service so I can update all of its files. Go ahead and close out, and then just double click on the file here. This will open up a series of prompts for us. Select Next, you can read through the EULA and accept the terms and conditions. And then you can enter the password. The password is provided by our help desk. You can call or email us if we're more than happy to provide this for you. Simply type this in and then follow any prompts. It'll ask us if we'd like to create an icon. If you're simply updating an, an existing computer, we don't need to select anything here. This would duplicate your icons available. If it is a new workstation, go ahead and select one and then finish your prompts. It'll run the update and then we can click finish and we're done. Now that Smart Service is updated, we can go ahead and open up the application. Once we log in, we'll be able to see any of our new features of what's been added in this update. If you don't wish to see these prompts, you can go ahead and select Don't Display This Again, and OK, and then when you open the application in the feature, these screens won't display for you. For more tips and tricks, follow us at smartservice.com.